It's November the 5th, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the nuclearproctologist.org. And you can find my videos and Fukushima presentations at Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. What is left of them? The night before I was arrested, and the next morning, yesterday morning, I was in court, and I was charged with criminal harassment of nuclear uh, industry PR people. And one of those was from Woods Hole, and the other one was from uh, UVic, British Columbia, Canada. So I'm going to get a lawyer first, and somewhere in the next few days, hopefully, we can go that process immediately. We got no choice. And as soon as I get the lawyer, then we can do a press release. We can do uh, radio interviews with the lawyer, and the lawyer can talk about the case and mention the names, but I can't. I can't say the names. And so there's going to be no comments under my videos from now on. And because we don't want them to be able to, uh, st the trolls to come in and spam the names there and then the police will come and get me again. And so right away they take away all of my freedoms, but, but they are the lawyers, they are, they are the people that are destroying everything that we covet. They are the people that refuse to have a conversation and that stopped me from having a conversation under the guise that they're being demonized because they're honest, but they're actually outrageous lawyers and we proved it over and over and over. And even a child could prove it at this stage, but the court doesn't do that. And so, not allowed to mention their names. And so what they've done is they criminalize speech. And if you criticize anybody now, they can claim that you're inciting violence against them when it's just an opinion. And so every media personality on the planet now has to be careful of reporting on any humans out there. Because those people can be charge with inciting violence against that person, regardless of the fact that they might have created a hideous crime. And so if a murderer creates a hideous crime and people lash out at that murderer, that murderer can do what the nuclear industry done to me yesterday, they arrest it and charged with inciting violence. For anybody out there that's ever been demonized in the media, I recommend you go to your police and have them charged with um, demonizing you and causing people to attack you. Now, just because they got a criminal record doesn't mean that we shouldn't do that, right? Yeah? When I got out of jail, I got home, there was four strikes on my account. So I can't live stream. And it's not like this was an accident. It's not like they haven't done this to me before. Remember two months ago, they took down 30 of my videos at the one time? Over 30 of my videos at the one time. Think about that. That they desperately attempted to take down my entire site. And you can see, Fukushima, will the real Japanese please stand up? Fukushima, should Oxford University students taught by Wade Allison get their money back or recertified? Fukushima approved nuclear scientists like Dr. Kevin Kemp are human trash. So I can't make any more videos with those titles, those names. I'm not allowed to criticize that person anymore. Dr. Brian Hanley, world's most disingenuous nuclear quack. I can't criticize him anymore. I mean, those videos were knocked down in one day. All of these videos. Fukushima, Japan is broken. Knocked down in one day. It's time for Japan to evacuate. And these videos, in the background, I provide all the documentation. But I'm the bad guy. Somehow, I'm bad. And them telling lies and taking down my videos is okay. Well, we're going to go see the police today and come after these people, whoever took this down. And that's... The way they want it, that's the way it's coming. It's going to come hard, it's going to come fast, and that's just the game they want. Nuclear PR firms. I mean, they took down all of these videos in an attempt to take down my site. In an attempt to silence me, just like was done to me again yesterday, right? They Four strikes when I get home. They know I'm just getting out of jail. I'm going to come out here and appeal for help for a lawyer and for common sense and so they try to take away that privilege. So now I have to sit here and make these videos to put them out there so that I even got a little tiny chance left to survive the onslaught that I'm under and try to silence us that way. I have to be in court on November the 18th to defend myself and I need a real lawyer. We're talking big money and that it takes a week for that money to show up in my bank account and that I have no time in between to get anything done. And that if I don't raise the money, it's boy boy Dana. And this is what they want. I had to purge my site because I'm not allowed to mention the names of anybody. 
And so all last, last night, all evening and all morning, I've been purging two names off my site. And I'm not allowed to talk about those people. I'm not allowed to say their names. But I have a criminal court case now lodged against me for calling lawyers outright, outright, outrageous lawyers, blatant lawyers, 100% and proving it in the video itself. But proving it in the video doesn't mean nothing to the court system. That's not taken into account until the trial. They go ahead and charge me, force me to take down my entire history of blogging, now, you can do the same thing with any media on the planet by the sounds of that. That you're demonizing people all the time by exposing them for committing crimes. But that's all I'm doing. I'm exposing people for committing crimes. How am I the bad person? How is it bad to even call these people evil? How is it bad to call these people mass murderers? How is that bad when that is what you're doing? How is it bad when I can prove that over and over in hundreds of videos? How is it that I'm the bad person? And yet, the justice system charged me for telling the truth. And so what you see right here, these are, I'll bring up you a better view of it. But what you're going to see coming up here in a second is the Fukushima Expeditions for Life. We covered the entire coastline. We documented that and put that documentation up at the nuclearproctologist.org on YouTube. And YouTube is the best streaming site on the planet. There really is four melted reactors in Japan. This is not a conjecture. This is not an opinion. This is not a fable. This is not imaginary. Even though the people I'm accused of harassing have told you that that is not true, that have told you that that is not an issue, have told you that that is like a banana and that that is like walking in sunshine or getting on an airplane or that is like polonium-210 or potassium-40, or rubidium, or any of the natural man-made radiation, or natural radiation. But the man-made radiations that are coming from these are deadly, and that's why we have terrorist laws. That's why we have nuclear waste sites. That's why we have so much security at these places. Rain with 20 million particles of just iodine-131 per liter fell on the U.S. during post-Fukushima peak. Does rain just fall in a liter? Does it just fall by iodine-131? Of course it doesn't. That is emblematic of your country being radiated and my incarceration and, and the criminal charges against me is emblematic of them covering that up. This is emblematic of them panicking. This is emblematic of them in desperation. This is emblematic of them making a last stand because they know that they can't hide it much longer and so the only thing they can do to, to slow down the awakening is to stop me is to stop the person who shows you the documentation every time he says something, who had every right to be upset that these people were lying and manipulating and being deceptive on purpose, that they weren't being honest, that they are in panic mode and that that is evidenced by getting me arrested. I'm the light, they're the dark. I'm here to beg you today to help me. I have no options. I'm not going to be driven away, but I might be incarcerated. I'm not going to give up but I might be throttled, I might be self-censored, I might be, not might be, I am. And so now I can't critic uh, James Colbert for Fukushima Update, afraid I incite violence against him just by my rhetoric, just by saying, hey, he's a lawyer. I can't critique any of the nuclear apologists and say, hey, wait, on, wait a second, there was 20,000 particles of radioactive iodine fell and you're saying there's none there, but I, I got all kinds of headlines showing that radiation fell throughout the country. But now I'm not allowed to say that. I'm not allowed to say this, that tritium 7,000 beckles a liter is wrong. I can't point at the people who said that's not an issue and say they're a lawyer because we know strontium, we know tritium, we know the iodine, we know the cesium in this Canadian drinking water standards is from man-made. And that the normal stuff was 0.5 beckles a liter where we're getting 7,000 beckles a liter. And somehow, that 7,000 beckles a liter, according to them, is not as bad as 0.5 beckles a liter of natural stuff that dissipates before you can get it to your lips, whereas the tritium has a 120-year half-life. So now I'm, I'm going to have to play this game in the courtrooms. And so what we're, this is an opportunity. 
And so we're going to get these two on the stand. And I'm not allowed to say their names. I'm not allowed to talk about people. I'm not allowed to criti criticize anybody on the internet. And no more is the media. And so anybody that mentions my name from here on out and says that what I'm doing is, is not true and is not real and didn't happen, I will go to the police station the very day that I see that and I will have you arrested. Let's be very clear about that. And that if you do that to me when I get you in court, I'll beat you in the court with this documentation like I'm going to do with these people. And I will take everything you got, just like you're trying to do with me. And I will take your freedoms just like you're trying to do with me. If that's what you want. If that's all that's left. Is that we can't criticize anybody on anywhere now about any story. We can't come out and say, hey, here's the evidence. That person's a lying sack of shit. I can't do that anymore. Because I have to worry about police coming to my house 10.30 at night and arresting me for something that's not true. When the people that I'm arrested for, I have proved over and over and over that they are outrageous, unimaginable, manipulating, lying machines. They are the scum of the earth. Anybody that does that is the scum of the earth. I'm not going to apologize for it. And they very well, well might come and get me for making this video today. And, but I can't be silenced when everybody else has freedom of speech. When everybody else can say what they want about anybody. When Rupert Murdoch come out and it, came, it, it was discovered that Rupert Murdoch crew was hacking a phone that belonged to a little girl who was murdered and Rupert Murdoch hacked that phone, took away the phone messages, hoping the family would phone in so they can report on that. Two billion people came out and attacked that man, called for his head to roll on the ground. Nobody was arrested. I never called for anybody's head to be rolled on the ground outside illegally. That we might have to change the laws to deal with these people because the law doesn't seem to be capable of holding them accountable on their own. And that... How am I the bad person? How did I become the bad person? When I went out, crowdfunded an operation, showed that all the species are missing, and then when the people that get all the traction in the media says that everything is fine, there was no damage whatsoever. Let me give you an example. This is Canada's coastline. We've done all of this coastline. We photographed the entire coastline. I'll show you a quick before and after pictures. In the Queen Charlotte's Aero, it's right below Aero, it's called Louise Narrow. This is pre-Fukushima picture. That's a pre-Fukushima picture. And what you're going to see coming up is Louise Narrows. And you'll see there is no color. There is no life on that shoreline. There's nothing there. Pre-Fukushima, this was a smorgasbord of life. Every square inch was vying for space. The entire ecosystem was incredible. Everywhere you looked on that coastline, you seen life. That's what you see, right? That's what normally what you would see. Now you see nothing. Now there's nothing there. How am I not supposed to say, hey, this is emergency. This is unbelievable. This is unprecedented. One of the most coveted places in the planet is stripped of all life. And nobody's going to report on that. Nobody's going to bother mentioning that this place was full of life. That this was an, just an, an oasis that was unimaginable and was coveted throughout the entire planet where people would go from all over this planet to come see this and when you go there now and we went there and documented it it's like the moon it's literally like the moon in every context there's no color left there's no life left the 5600 species are missing off that whole coastline but somehow I'm a bad person somehow me saying hey this is an issue we gotta deal with it we gotta talk about this we, we got to get on the ball. We need to stop those reactors in Japan from doing this. Because now we know throughout the expedition that the whole coastline is missing all their species. And so they have to arrest me. They have to silence me. They have to shut me up. They have to stop people from understanding that kind of detail. How am I not supposed to be upset by that? How am I not supposed to be impacted by that? How am I not supposed to be affected when I spend 260 days flushing out the entire coastline, documenting and putting up at my site and showing all the species that are missing? But somehow I'm the bad person. Somehow the people that lie... I mean, UVic has a law school. Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution has 850 sciences. 
major amount of law schools. And so what they done was they constructed this, gave me 24 hours to pull down 300 videos, because I might mention his name, and if his name was in a the video, they could come and arrest me again. That if there was a tag under the video with his name in it, they can come and arrest me again. That if I didn't purge from the social networking sites everything that I could find, they can come get me again. And that if I skipped anything by accident and couldn't find it, they can come get me again. But yet, anybody can go out and criticize anybody that's committing crimes except for me. And that why you might think I'm upset, you have no idea. I'm just beginning. This is the battle. We're going to drag him into court. We're going to get them to understand, and we're going to find out why I said the things I said. Most likely, they're going to incarcerate me again under some another trumped-up charge. But ultimately, in the next number of months, this story will come out. Whether I survive what they're doing to me is highly suspect. I'm not healthy. I live in a hospital bed. They know that. They took advantage of that. They knew I couldn't spend an extra night in jail, and so I was forced to take down my entire 2,000 to 4,000 hours of work of the, dis of the presentations of Fukushima, of the documentation, they forced me to take all that down. Lucky for me, it's available all over the internet. And But in order to see this through, we have no options now, again, but to go to battle against the most evilest people imaginable, the most twisted and demented people imaginable. And I can guarantee you, if you're going to come up and demonize me, and you know who I'm talking to, if I see another video on your site, I come get you. The police will come to get you. I'm probably going to take you down anyway. I got nothing better to do today or tomorrow, and so I'm probably just going to go file those charges and have you taken down and have you arrested and have you brought to where I can come see you. And you know who I'm talking to, don't you? You done it to me. Don't expect anything less. Hugs for everybody. Please support me. We'll continue to post videos. Like I say, four copyright strikes last night. Two of them are, are strikes. I can't post any live streams on my site. I appealed them. YouTube is not likely to let me through with that appeal. And so I'll have to make these videos. I have to find a lawyer today. We have a very, very expensive lawyer. There's two of them lined up. So I need to raise ten to 15000 bucks in the next couple of days. I'm going to probably need thirty to 40000 over the next couple of months. And then ultimately we will get these people on the stand. And we'll make them explain. We'll make them explain. Hang on. Why potassium and magnesium doesn't do that, or rhytium, or the natural radioactive isotopes can't do that to the marine environment, and these polar bears are starving to death. This was about a month ago, and this was a couple of weeks before that. These bears, they starved to death. This bear here, he traveled over 700 miles looking for food, couldn't find any. The scientists followed him. He starved to death. That's why everything is missing along the coastline, rather, of British Columbia. It's because they all starved to death. It's because that's how radiation works. That is not actually like a banana or a potato chip or walking in sunshine. So hugs for everybody. We'll have another video out tomorrow if I'm not in jail. And, you, and please support me. They got done to me. My site stripped in order to, to stop this debate, to stop this conversation, and stop you from understanding what's going on. Don't let them get away with us. I need your support, desperately. You can donate at the nuclearproctologist.org. This is not a game anymore. You can... Donate at PayPal, Dana Durnford at Hotmail.com on PayPal. That's how you find me. You'll find the links below. Hugs for everybody.